makeup collection video and I just want to quickly say that I am not in no way doing this to brag. This video was requested quite a bit recently so I thought I would just go ahead and film it because you guys have been wanting to see my makeup collection and in the past before when I had about 20 subscribers I actually did a makeup collection video and that is the most embarrassing video probably that I've ever made because everything is unfocused. I talk like a little mouse and it's not even worth having up. So that video is privated, so this will probably be the first one that a lot of my new subscribers have seen. And let's get into my makeup collection. Okay, so to start, this is the desk where I do my makeup. As you can see, I have a pink chair. I believe that's from Ikea. If I can find the link to it, I will link it in the description box. Oh, and by the way, the two drawers right here do not have any makeup in them anymore, so they're used for hair care, and the top one's actually just like random junk drawer. So as you guys could probably tell, these are my makeup brushes. The makeup brushes that I use are the Sigma Essential Kit. I'll link those in the description box too, but I also have some e.l.f. brushes like the e.l.f. Stip Small Stippling Brush, the e.l.f. Uh, what is this? blush brush. I actually really like that brush for contour because it's kind of a tapered shape. And what I use to hold it is just these glass jars I got from the dollar store. They're kind of jagged and I just filled them with some beads I had around and they hold my brushes pretty well. Oh, and then I have one Coastal Scents brush, but that's not very important. Ooh, did you see? It's like... <laughs> anyway. And then if you move across the table just like so... On the top there's just this mirror right here and then if you move down there is a box where I hold a lot of makeup so I'll just go through that. So this bin is mostly for my eyebrow stuff so I have two little cleaned mascara ones that I use to comb out my eyebrows and then I have a Estee Lauder Lash Primer Plus um, thing and then I have a elf brow kit in medium and a Milani brow kit and I have a Mika Beauty eyeshadow. But I just have a NYX for your eyes only smoky eyes palette, a couple Inglot shadows that I use actually quite a bit and just a couple of random shadows like Elf, Hard Candy, Mika Beauty, and some Maybelline and BH Cosmetics. So just any eyeshadows that are kind of everyday colors, I'll just put in there. This drawer is probably one of my favorite drawers. I literally love these. These are the Maybelline color tattoos. I have a lot of doubles. I have Barely Branded, Tenacious Teal. I think this one's my friend's. I need to give that back to her. Um, and then I've got the white one, Tough as Taupe. And then I have my one MAC um, paint pot in Painterly, which I just got recently and I've been loving it. I want more paint pots. They work so well on the eyelids. So as you can probably see, this is where I store the rest of my makeup. This is a Alex 9 drawer from Ikea. I'll link that in the description box too. So on the top layer, as you can see, I just have my Maybelline... Um, baby lips. I have a couple videos on these which I'll link in the description box and then I just have these fake flowers and a Santa for some reason. I don't really know why. And then just this glass high heel and then I have these three Lush products. I have a lip balm, balm in Honey Trap, a um, two lip scrubs in Bubblegum and Popcorn which I really like. Okay so the first drawer, oh righty then, there's like a baby picture of me in here. I'm gonna get that out of there. It's me playing with an easy bake oven. Throwback. Alrighty. So in this drawer is all my eyeshadows that I don't use on a daily basis but I use them for like tutorials so I just have, like I don't really think that I need to go through these because there's literally so much eyeshadow because I do collect quite a bit of eyeshadow but I just have them kind of in neutral to colors eyeshadows so yeah just like that and then I have some elf individual lashes here and then I have some fake blood because I was doing Halloween tutorials and my picture back in there that one's not very exciting because I don't use that drawer that often all right this is one of my definite favorite drawers this is my lip drawer and I honestly love this drawer so obviously I don't fill my drawers all the way to the top so there's room for me to collect more makeup. So the first one that I'll go through is kind of just wear lipsticks that wouldn't fit here. I set them here so I've got a EOS and then I've got these Nivea lip butters and this Vaseline and a NARS. 
cheek and blush duo and a CoverGirl lipstick and a NYX lipstick that's really frosty so I don't wear it that often. I've got two CoverGirl smoochies. I've got two Rimmel lipsticks and then these are just different Rimmel ones. They're kind of in the purple packaging and I've got Coral Queen, Soft Coral, and Fancy and then I've got four e.l.f. lipsticks that I actually really like the scent of so I have them in Captivating, Flirtatious, Not Nostalgic? Yeah. And what's this? Sociable. And then I have this Estee Lauder lipstick in Tiramisu. And then I have three Maybelline Vivid lipsticks, which I'm in love with. I would love to get all of the lipsticks. I have it in Shocking Coral, Vivid Rose, and Pink Pop. These are so gorgeous. And then I have some Wet n Wild lipsticks, which I actually did <laughs> a review of, so I'll link that in the description box as well. There's just going to be like a billion links in the description box. And then I have one Lancome lipstick of kind of a muddy brown color. This is in the shade Cream. And then I have two Re Revlon lip butters. I gave one to my mom, and this one's Berry Smoothie and Cupcake, and the one I gave her is Cotton Candy, and I really like that one as well. And then I have one Forever 21 lipstick, which I actually love. It's a really pretty red color. And then I have this Physicians Formula lip lipstick that I've never really used. And then this JCAS? Kaz, I think it's called. It was in a glam bag and it is in Honeycrisp. And then I have three Maybelline Color Whisper and I have it in Mad for Magenta, Coral Ambition, and Pink Possibilities. And I suggest these to everyone who wants sheer colors because these are gorgeous. I have five MAC lipsticks and if anybody knows what collection this packaging is from, can you let me know because I don't know and I can't remember so maybe you will know. But I have one in Chins Girl About Town Cream or Creme de Nude Armorous and Mellow Warm and I love MAC lipsticks. I'd love to get more. And then here is kind of any lip glosses or lip liners that wouldn't fit in containers like this because when you close it they have to be like a certain length. The smoochies just fits. So there is literally so many like I don't think that I have time to go through all of them. I've got like Inglot, MAC, Victoria's Secret, L'Oreal, Elf, Revlon. Like there's just quite a few. I use that quite a bit. Moving along. So this is the drawer that I find that I just can't keep clean because products just get everywhere. But I did clean it a couple minutes ago, so while it lasts, it's nice. This is my face drawer. So there is powders, foundations, blush, and bronzers. Right here, there's a CoverGirl L'Oreal and a Rimmel concealer, all in my shade. ELF products. I have the ELF Baked Blush. And these I use as highlighters. And then I have a baked bronzer. And then a ELF HD blush. I have another one, but I lost it. Like, how do I do that? And then another cream blush. Two really pretty colors from Clinique and Rimmel. I have a Fit Me foundation in a shade that's too dark. And a Revlon Whipped foundation. Or is it Rimmel? No, it's Revlon Whipped foundation in a too <laughs> shade too light. And then just some concealers that didn't work the best for me. Physician's Formula, Talc Free Mineral Wear, Illuminating Veil, uh, Shimmer, and then a Hard Candy Glow All The Way um, highlighter. And I have an obsession with buying blush even though I don't wear blush. It's like, it's a problem. And I have some NARS highlighter and blush. And this has been my favorite thing ever. And then I have another foundation which is actually my color. And just a bunch of powders. Oh, and I just recently got a MAC <laughs> Studio Fix a powder. And I'm really excited because I just guessed my shade was NW15, and it actually was. So, yay! And then I've got MAC highlighters, a MAC blush, a MAC bronzer, and be a bombshell blush, Rimmel, Hard Candy, NYX. This is kind of when the drawers start to get a little less full of makeup, as you can tell. So over on the side, I have a Mika Beauty black eyeliner and a e.l.f. gel brown eyeliner. And then I have five sample mascaras. And then I have a bunch of mascaras because right now I've been loving layering mascaras. So I have the Rocket, I have the Clump Crusher, the Curve Mascara, the sca Scandalized Curve Alert, the Normal Scandalized Scandal Show Off, which I actually didn't like. It, the formula seemed different to me. 
then this is my one waterproof mascara Maybelline one by one I want to try more Maybelline mascaras and then the voluminous power 24 hour mascara which is oh my gosh it's so good the covergirl lash blast um, mascara which is good for bottom lashes I would say and then the elf waterproof lengthening and volumizing mascara oh I have a second waterproof one so these two are waterproof this is probably gonna be hard to go through because well it's just a mishmash of stuff and then I've got some there, NYX retractable eyeliners some NYX jumbo eye pencils um, then some elf jumbo eyeshadows I've got a couple of those so you can see some liquid eyeliners, um, another, and oops, some primers, some e.l.f. liquid eyeliners. Um, yeah, so pretty much just any eyeliner goes in there. And then we're going to skip this drawer because it is filled with nothing. This drawer is my palette drawer. It's not very full, but I just have the e.l.f. Naturalized palette, which I really like. Um, and then I just have this one that I actually got off eBay like a really long time ago, but it's done well. And then the e.l.f. Um, neutral eyeshadow palette which is with 144 colors. I like that palette quite a bit. And I have the Sephora Moon Shadow Baked palette, which looks like that. It's pretty. It's not very pigmented though, sadly. And then the Naked Tube palette, which is a favorite. And then a baby one. I don't know why that's in there. The Revlon Customize. And then here is just some brushes that I don't really use that often. Some extra storage stuff. So yeah. The second last drawer is just my nail polish drawer. I have these because I would like to get some stiletto nails. And I've got some fabric paint, fake nails. Just a ton of nail polish. I should paint my nails right now. But um, big bows from the eye. Or the nails. And then the bottom drawer is just filled with hair products. So yeah, that's in my entire makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And thank you so much for watching. And okay, bye!